MovieWeb.com. You know, through your career, you've done a lot of different kinds of films, a lot of family films. Like this movie is so high concept, right? And your character is so different. Um, what attracted you to this film? Uh, well, it's in keeping with what you just said. Uh, I like the idea of making movies that can give families something to look forward to with their children. I like that you can make something that will put a smile on a child's face because times are tough right now. People are losing their jobs, families are getting tense, and I want to be a part of that. I want to be a part of entertaining children. Um, to me, that's the most important thing I can do. All right, um, I saw the film two days ago, and I was just amazed at how big it was. The production design was superb, the 3D was amazing, a true uh, Jerry Bruckheimer film from start to finish. And I was wondering, as an actor doing, you know, voiceover work, um, do you have any, I mean, I know you see like pre and they show you some stuff from the film, but when you saw the final product, were you really blown away by how big the film was? Um, not so much that the movie was so big, but more blown away by how um, real the animals looked. I mean, how much detail went into making each and every one of those, those animals, from the fly to the guinea pigs to the mole. I mean, they all looked, and the cockroaches, I mean, they all looked totally real. And I know that took a lot of work. Um, Hoyt is a, a visual genius. The 3D is remarkable. Um, there's about 3,000 3D movie theaters now, and there's going to be a lot more 3D movies. But when I saw 3D movies as a child, you know, you saw the edge and the line was, it was the, the glasses gave you a headache, but this was state of the art. It was effortless, and um, I felt like I was in the movie. Uh, let's talk about that, extrapolate more on that point regarding the 3D. The real 3D technology is looking very, very good. A lot of films are now coming out in this format. Do you think there'll be a time when the, the family-friendly, more CGI films are not the only 3D film when you would see like maybe an indie comedy in 3D? you think that's possible? Absolutely. I, I mean, I think that is around the corner. Uh, because, because what the 3D does when it works well is, isn't so much about the, the movie coming out at you. Um, it's actually about you falling into the movie. And if you consider that with a, an intense family drama, I don't know what the repercussions of that would be. <laughs> I mean, you'd, you'd have to use it carefully, but it could be awesome in the true sense of the word, not in the California sense, in the real sense. Like, if you could go and sit at the dinner table with a, a family argument, you may not want to go to that. <laughs> Well, that could be true. Yeah. Um, I want to ask you about working with uh, Jerry Bruckheimer again. I know you guys just wrapped the Sorcerer's Apprentice. Um, Bill Nye, in a previous interview, said, Jerry could call me up, doesn't matter what it is. I have so much faith in him as a producer. I'll just walk blindly through the door. Is that the kind of power he has? Is, is, is he so well-respected and so good at his craft that if you get a call from Jerry, you just know automatically that you're looking at a great project? Well, you know you're gonna you're, you know you're gonna be involved in a movie that's going to entertain people because that's his interest. He genuinely wants to entertain the world. I mean, he he is an entertainment maestro. Um, I what I, the reason why I'm drawn to Jerry outside of the fact that I like him, I think he's um, he genuinely cares about the people he works with and also he loves kids. Uh, is that he? He wants actors to find the character, and he isn't afraid to go a little outside the box if I try something. For example, this voice as Speckles is not standard, and I think he was okay with that, and he agreed to it right away, which I thought was a bit unusual. Hoyt was a little more, I had to, he wasn't quite as comfortable with it right off the bat, but then he got, he got it later.